Getting a very flattering angle, guys, now. Oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am so excited for today's video. So, uh, as you guys know, because you read the title and saw the thumbnail, today I will be working on my Instagram here in my home because where else? As everyone else, I am spending so much time lately on my Instagram and I realized that I... I do love my feed, I love my page, and you guys should definitely follow me. Uh, but I feel like I could work a little bit more on just like the aesthetics of it and kind of like sticking to a theme. I know this is a very, very common issue uh, that a lot of like people have. So what I decided to do is very simple. I went on YouTube and I looked through some videos uh, to get some tips on like photography from home, like at home. And I came across Tashi Tinks and I am obsessed with her Instagram since. I love the aesthetics of it and I like how creative she is and just like a little bit different. So what I will be doing today is I will follow one of her latest videos where she gave some tips for like cool aesthetic Instagram photos at home in isolation. That's her title i'm going to link her video in the description box down below of course so you guys can check it out as well i'm not going to play the video right here i am just going to watch it now one more time and kind of like gather all the tips that she gave i re-watched the video i took out kind of like six ideas tips that i will try to follow and implement in my photo shoot uh, so number one is mirrors, using mirrors and like doing mirror selfies and the main thing that she kind of pointed out was to play around the whole idea and not just like stand there in front of a mirror and take like a plain old mirror selfie but kind of like be a little bit more creative about it, uh, maybe move around the mirror, use smaller mirrors um, or just like some interesting poses. Then tip number two that she gave and this is something that I also agree uh, is basically the lighting so really paying attention to your lighting kind of like using it in your advantage uh playing with different lightings playing with like shadows and especially she spoke about like golden hour then number three are like face masks maybe like face cream stuff like that i think she spoke about face masks but i think also like face creams or just like something that can be interesting i'm going to try and insert some pictures while i talk because otherwise i don't know if you guys will understand what i'm saying but yeah number four she spoke about using props in the pictures and i agree with her she said that it's very important especially when you are at home and there's not much you can work with there's no like scenery behind you or anything so you kind of have to rely on like props then number five she spoke about interesting edits and videos uh she didn't put these like in numbers it's just like how i took them and number six um flat lays or just like some filler photos that can be product shots that can be like some detail shots that not necessarily have you in the picture but i think it's actually quite cool and i feel like right now my feed is just like too saturated with myself <laughs> so i feel like i should incorporate some like flat lays or just like break the, the feed with some uh filler photos we're going to try and create kind of like four or five different types of photographs today i hope i will have at least like nine or maybe 12 photos just because I want to um, yeah because like my idea is to have like a feed if you don't know what I mean so if you kind of like open my Instagram my idea is to have uh, at least like one page so we're going to try and see uh, what we come up with I am so excited now we're going to look for the first location first like inspiration what i did earlier well actually yesterday night was i pulled out some pictures on instagram no not on instagram on pinterest and i created a board uh, like inspiration board for this photo shoot just so i can have like some sort of a guidelines because uh sometimes when you're doing a photo shoot you have so many ideas in your mind before the shoot and maybe you end up being stuck and you do like the same pose or the same like angle or something so having like a vision board it's good to have it there visually 
I think I'm going to use this little guy uh, as kind of like my background. I love this poster. I'm kind of losing a light over here, but we're gonna see how this goes. So what I'll be using is my phone and I'm going to use a kind of like selfie stick with a remote on it because that's kind of like the easiest way you can take uh, some cool self-portraits on your phone. And I don't know why I'm talking on this angle. So what I'm going to use is, as I said, my phone and then I'm going to use like one of these selfie sticks that turns into a tripod. These are super handy. I'm going to link this one uh, down below. Uh, it's from Amazon so you can order it that I remember it was quite um, affordable. So <clears throat> what's also cool about this one, I'm so sorry, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. What's uh, cool about this one is that it has this tiny little remote which is so so handy when you're taking selfies or just like self-portraits because you can be away from your phone you don't have to use the timer self timer because that one sometimes doesn't work that well i find that like i don't know i find that sometimes if you use self timer uh the picture is a little bit blurry they're not as sharp as when you use a remote or when you just take them like this so yeah i'm going to prop my phone here i don't know still if i'm going to use the front or the back facing camera i know that the one on the back is much better everyone knows that but sometimes it's just easier if you can see yourself i think i'm going to do a couple of shots just uh with my uh front front facing camera uh see how it goes and then maybe i'll switch to the other one actually changed and I'm just wearing this uh, kind of like sports bra cropped top and the same cycling biker shorts that I already had and I feel like that outfit wasn't really working with this shot because I'm kind of like sitting you can't really uh, see much of the t-shirt or anything it just looked a little bit like I don't know it wasn't giving me the vibe that I wanted to get with this shoot so no, I don't know how I made my hair. Okay, I'm gonna go and do my hair in front of the mirror because this is not working. A very flattering angle, guys, no? Oh, just this focus, yeah. So that went pretty good. I'm quite happy for the first picture. And I just had my lunch, went through the pictures, and I need to replace the battery. So I am going to now charge my phone as well, replace the battery, and start planning the second uh, picture, the second kind of like location and theme. But yeah, I haven't been using actually her tips, which is the purpose of this video. So the first, well, the second one, and the first tip that she gave is mirrors and my battery died in the middle of the sentence before what was i saying yeah i was saying that when it comes to mirrors i am pretty pretty familiar with using kind of like mirrors for photography i think i'm going to definitely now think of some more interesting ways some ways that i haven't been experimenting with uh, in the past, so I just tried to do something new. How cute are these earrings? These are like my latest uh, Edition I just ordered them. They came like yesterday or the day before. They're so cute I think I'm going to shoot something with the jewelry. Definitely. Yeah, I love this bench that I'm sitting on right now It's kind of like the Ottoman Chaiselong style of a chair. I don't know what's the correct name for these but it's kind of like the thing where you can lay basically uh, so it's super super cute and I just love it. I'm obsessed and I want to incorporate this into the picture so I think I might use this to kind of like lay on it or sit and do like a weird pose or something in the mirror. We'll see now what I come up with. I 
I really like how the previous pictures turned out. So I'm going to use this location for one more kind of like outfit and a different pose. And I'm just wearing this super simple um, gray sweatpants and a cropped top, which is kind of like a bralette. I think this is a sports bra. Uh, I don't wear it so much as a sports bra because it's more like, I don't know, it's thicker. I usually wear it like a cropped top because it's super cute uh, with this like knot detail. So yeah, I think I'm going to use this as a second look for this location because I don't know, I just really like how it looks. Oh my God. Oh, I'm shiny. So it has been several hours now since the last photo shoot I did and I want to do a coffee shot because honestly I want to have my coffee. It's getting a little bit late for my last one of the day. So I want to have my coffee and then since I made it already and it's super cute and aesthetic, I wanted to do, uh, do a little coffee shoot coffee shoot uh, I need to look up some ideas for the coffee shot I might even want to do something very simple like maybe just hold it with my hand uh, or I might do it with oh maybe I'll use this pampas grass that I have or pampa pampas grass I don't know how you call it uh, that I have here okay so let's see what I come up with I'm gonna show you in a sec <laughs> I did a couple of flat lays, but I think I'm going to actually do a couple of um, shots here on my terrace because the lighting here is super cute. So we're gonna try and do something here. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Maybe it's too harsh. We'll see. That was a lot. I am so tired. I don't know why I didn't do that much. This video is completely dedicated to Tashi, but she really inspired me. She's amazing. Her Instagram is so good. I don't know if I mentioned, but she has another profile where she's posting uh, all these like cool uh, flat lays and like all sorts of like cool inspirational pictures. And recently, I feel like literally like two days ago, she launched her own presets for Lightroom and i went ahead and purchased one of the packs all of the packs are super cool and so gorgeous but i don't know why i just like felt like mykonos was kind of my vibe so i downloaded that pack and because this video is inspired by her video and her instagram i'm going to use uh, her presets to edit these pictures so that's what i'm gonna do now enough of talking enough of rambling and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow morning where we're going to continue shooting for Instagram. Don't let the shirt fool you. It is another day. I just finished editing this video. Well, the, the so far footage. And I have to say that I have a lot. And I just don't have time to explain each individual shot and just guide you through everything because I am trying to shoot a lot of pictures here so you know it takes a lot of time so I hope you guys find it still useful and just like fun and you get some ideas as well uh, let's go through my feed and let's see what we have from yesterday so at the end when I finished all the editing I pulled out around nine pictures that I want to use for the feed for my Instagram uh, some of them are repeats but I don't really mind if the pose is different if the angle is different I don't mind um, using the same uh, like the same shoot um, multiple times especially if you spread it out and it's not like one after another I think it's totally fine uh, now for the editing I'm not going to go into detail if you guys are interested in that and if you want to see me manipulate and use the presets I mentioned uh, I can make another video I used Mykonos presets from Tashi that I already mentioned it takes a lot of time to edit pictures so there is no way I can squeeze that in into this video uh, but yeah let me know I can definitely make another like part two of this video where I edit and I show you how I do that and all the apps that I use let's start shooting the remaining uh, pictures I think I'm going to do face mask shot uh, I think I'm definitely going to try and do something else with the mirrors uh, like some cool um, more interesting way of using mirrors and I'm probably going to do a close-up of some of my favorite jewelry of the moment um, so yeah let's start shooting while I still have some light <music>
I think it's time to wrap this video up and show you guys the final results I think I will I'm done for today I don't think I'm going to do any more shoots I didn't do the face mask thing because honestly the lighting is just awful today uh, it's very dark and gloomy and it started raining just like half an hour ago so I think I've accomplished the purpose of this video I feel like my feed is going to look so much better like it's incredible like the difference is just incredible i'm going to show you guys in a second we're gonna go through all the pictures i'm gonna show you before and after for each picture so you see pretty much how much the editing means uh and i'm just going to tell you guys overall like what are my conclusions so let's start with the first picture and for this picture i actually uploaded it very quickly so i could edit a little bit more like the colors i feel like the tone is just like a slightly more like a greenish like more dull i prefer a little bit like warmer like brownish tones in the whites moving on The things that I kind of like learned from this exercise so first thing which is very like counterintuitive is that shooting in a kind of like same location bunch of photographs actually helps your feed and actually helps your feed looking more cohesive and more kind of like connected I always thought I feel like yeah definitely it's counterintuitive I always felt like oh but like my feed is maybe boring because like I don't have like or sometimes I wouldn't even take pictures because I would feel like well I'm not going anywhere or like I'm always in the same place like I don't want to have the same location always and always on my pictures but the thing is when you are shooting in the same place the key is to actually start looking for different angles different areas even just like distance like sometimes you are closer to a wall sometimes you're further away from it uh, sometimes you are like in a different area but because you are in the same room you are in the same environment you have similar lighting you have similar just like colors around you it really helps um, making your feed look more cohesive i don't know just like more aesthetically pleasing at least in my opinion than another learning and this one is really really important and i just like never took it that seriously so i told you guys that i have been using like my own presets but it's not something that i did like religiously so i would maybe do like a preset but a lot of times i would just go into editing picture picture by pictures none of my pictures had like the exact same like theme or colors or anything so using presets is actually amazing i'm not advocating now you go and buy presets like i did i bought uh, tasha's presets but i'm just saying if you develop a preset then develop a preset couple of them i love what she did so what she did is that she developed like three themes and then within each theme you have like five or six presets i feel i think it's six presets so all of them are kind of similar they work really well together but they're not identical so you have different um presets for different images that way you have kind of like a set for various types of images and you can always go back to them so that's why i think these are really really bomb and i think she did amazing job really like amazing job and i would highly recommend because i've been loving them i've been using them for two days and the results are just freaking incredible visco cam is another amazing app if you don't want to use lightroom and what a lot of people do on visco when it comes to achieving the same thing is selecting a couple of um, filters from visco cam uh, but i think it's the best if you choose just one and then create your own kind of like set of adjustments you can write them down so you go like each adjustment and you write down like the numbers that you used and you can copy copy those edits and paste them on each uh, picture of course uh, it's not the same as on Lightroom because in Lightroom you can 
uh, save your preset yourself like in this code game you need to go and copy and paste uh, edits from previous images and finally this is how my feed used to look and this is the projection of how my feed is going to look I already started uploading pictures but it's not there yet so I'm going to upload these pictures in the course of the next couple of days and yeah I really really like it I think I did amazing job these tips were just incredible I'm going to um, definitely continue using them and I'm going to still use these presets because I really like the vibe I think it's so easy it made my life so 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 easy and I think they are worth every penny uh, but again you don't need to spend money and buy them you can create them you can download some for free or you can use a disco cam and just like make your own again your own style your own filter so yeah that would be all you guys for today's video I hope you enjoyed definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram and say hi I love 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 talking to you guys over there in my DMs or just like on my uh, under my pictures and yeah I hope you're all staying safe taking care and we are going to get out of this soon I'm very hopeful and positive and I hope you guys are as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click the notification bell icon so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos and yeah like this video give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you have ideas for other videos if you want me to do editing video and yeah i will see you guys in my next video